Hi, this is Lynn Susek, and I am your faith coach. Um, okay, I'm going to call this one instant or time release miracle. <laughs> uh, the One of the things that happens when you read about the miracles in the Word is that you could be discouraged when you get prayer and it doesn't happen immediately, although... I am for instant mir miracles, like not waiting. Uh, I believe that we should expect that. However, um, a couple things. One is that when it says immediately, uh, I think that has uh, a more than one meaning. Meaning, so we looked it up and. Um, and found that you know it doesn't necessarily mean every single thing that Jesus did happened right in front of, in front of like right away because of course you know at least that as uh, some of them like the lepers the ten lepers as they went they were healed which is still you know within an hour okay like that very hour there's lots of miracles that don't happen immediately and sometimes we get uh, to where we stop, like our faith just like, you know, drops because it didn't happen right then when we got prayer. Believing, you know, how long can you hang on in your faith? That's how long um, uh, the faith is active, okay? So when you let go uh, and give up and think it's not working, in your heart that tends to I think is what stops thing things from progressing and um so many things that we've learned have to do with the um for instance when we the word of God is like a, a hammer so hitting 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 with the word you know hit that hit your body with the word you know every hour you know speak to your body anything that's not working right and um, a hammer hits a nail um, or let's say when you uh, hammer on a rock it doesn't break you know the first time and it doesn't break the second time usually and depending on the rock so eventually you know it, you're gonna see the manifestation but each one of those um, hits ha is doing something and just so many examples of what um, causes you know we just we have a hard time since sense knowledge tells us hey, I don't see anything yet I don't see anything yet and that works against your faith if you're relying on what you see right so, um, my, my, um, uh, understanding of faith for, because of the, the things that I have seen and done in faith, um, and seen results, I will, I like to explain the way that I am, and, uh, the way that I understand it. And a lot of other people, you know, they explain it the way they understand it. And between all of us trying to understand, I mean, uh, how to believe, how to how to let your faith w work, because it's your faith that's going to heal you. That's what Jesus said. Your faith has made you well. Like, I'm going to keep saying, your faith has made you well. Your faith, your faith. You know, not Jesus deciding, you know, to heal you or not. Uh, he had already decided. God already decided to heal you. <laughs> That's a good one. Maybe I should put that on my <laughs> title. God has already decided to heal you. So it's your faith that's that needs to be, you know, working. And uh, I know that, um, I mean, our faith does work, okay? No one has deficient faith. We just um, don't always see the results right away, and it's and also our natural mind is the biggest deterrent and unbelief that we have. You know, our natural mind doesn't understand even if it sees a miracle. 
you explain it away did that really happen you don't even know how to receive a miracle in the natural you don't know how to um say yes that's a miracle like how often do you see miracles or how often have you seen miracles and and then denied that they were miracles you know supernatural so um just to, for instance like if you're in the middle of a um emergency okay that you don't have an hour to wait you're gonna live or die right now um i've had we've had that happen before and you know <laughs> obviously we we didn't die so um you know i had a daughter with a my one of my daughters had her daughter was choking as a baby and it's in one of my books about um her faith my daughter's faith just rose up and said come out in the name of jesus she didn't think about it it just happened she could have decided to do the heimlich maneuver but she spoke to it and that's what you're supposed to do when your spirit is thinking for you then you you know you do better than if you have time to think about it and it came flying out of this baby's mouth it was she was choking really you know uh it's a, the story is in my um many stories true stories out of my third book called um let's see <laughs> i have one book called first watch the inside another book called break a rule and the third book oh my goodness emergency um miracle team i think it's called and it, it's a, it's kind of a story of um true it has true stories in it and it's a book um as if um those miracles were happening in the in the story so i i tell you in the book where these uh, miracles who who they were really who really they happen too it's i love this book my love my third book emergency miracle team and it's um it's about a um a, like a christian um emergency um medical people that learn to be uh, how to uh, operate in faith and use their faith on the job eventually it's a great book it's a small book you can read it like you know in an hour it's really uh anyway it's on amazon emergency miracle team anyway lynn suzek and uh and so it's one of some of the greatest miracles that i know of including other people's you know that i love to uh, repeat um are in this book and i would write more of these books if you know they were popular if people were were uh if it, they took off but anyway um faith at each i've noticed that the, all the faith teachers that i know a lot of them that operate in faith and are trying to explain faith how to help you you know operate in faith that's what we're all trying to do uh we we by testimony is one thing what happened and then why it happened is another thing that we need to understand like when does this how does this work you know because it doesn't always seem to work the same way like if somebody says i burned my hand which the, did happen and said you know satan you know stop and that's all he said but it was what he was believing that mattered and it just stopped you know it the burn went away uh lots of instant miracles a friend of ours he has faith for miracles fast um but I think a lot of it has to do with your um, fight in yourself, like a person that's a fighter. I always talk about that. Um, being a fighter has a lot to do with faith. And, uh, and I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna repeat myself. Um, three people, four people I know that have seen lots of instant, have done, I would say, instant miracles, I have training in fighting. I'll just repeat myself. Um, Curry Blake used to be a black belt or something in, in you know, whatever, uh, martial arts. Um, Andrew Womack went to, uh, he, he's a veteran from, and he was trained in combat. Okay, so he was, he's a fighter. 
he's got this fighting, you know, instinct from that. Um, and I believe that's part of why, you know, anybody gets good. I don't think Jesus was a passive person. He was a fighter inside. Um, so that's Curry Black and Andrew Womack. Um, a friend of ours used to do judo or something like that and he's the one that sees a lot of instant miracles so it's it's coming from within you know no you know it's like hard to teach that you have to learn how to fight i feel like our children should learn how to fight early as christians real fighting somehow you know train and then another guy um that used to be a veteran was he's a fighter and he is you know he teaches healing but I really think that we're missing the part about fighting, about being a fighter inside um, when we talk about faith. Um, I think that's the missing ingredient um, with faith. And I mean, I never fought. And um, so we're seeing minimal, I, I would call it minimal results. We're seeing a lot of more results than a lot of other people in faith. But uh, we see the, the, you know, it's like they call it that grit. Try to call it grit. Physical learning how to fight does something inside of you. And um, if you learn how to, to do that, I believe that really strengthens your ability to operate in faith. I'm just going to stick with that as my explanation of faith and instant results. Um, when your faith ri rises up in an emergency, because your flesh is like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Your faith goes, okay, here I come, you know. But when your flesh is like strong, hey, I know what to do. I'm going to try this. Then your 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 spirit is in the back row. So <laughs> emergencies tend to bring out your faith faster because your flesh is like, oh, we're just uh, we're going to die, you know. And your faith rises up and goes, get out of the way. Here I come, you know, out. In the name of Jesus, uh, I've known uh, my husband almost, you know, was having a heart attack once, and his faith rose up. I am not having a heart attack, and he just, uh, in faith, and not in his flesh decision, he just said, "I'm, I'm." He parked. I knew what was, you know, I knew what was happening. I was praying, and I was at peace. I did not feel in fear. I knew he was doing the right thing. He got up, got out of the car, and started running around. You know, like kind of jogging. He was having, you know, like a feeling of uh, numbness in the arm or something, heart, chest pains. He, we didn't run to the hospital. We just got, he just got out and said, I am not having a heart attack. And I said, that's right. And I was praying. And see, these are the, uh, this is when the, fl the flesh is out of the way. Like, uh, you know, I don't have any power here. So then the your spirit can come rising up within you amen so um you know if i just say be a fighter does that really help you don't know how to be a fighter in you unless you've been you know in training for that so i feel the missing ingredient to miracles is the ability to to have a fight in you absolutely and i was never a fighter so it is it does it makes it a struggle for um healing okay and um i'm sure it's still possible for everybody no matter it's a within you it's a fight but the physical learning is important i believe all of the people that i'm talking about i'm just going to name them curry blake andrew womack mark bostwick a pro friend of ours and uh tony myers tony myers has like four books but i'm telling you it's the fighter within you, the, the, the fighter that's, that needs to be uh, communicated to people about how to um, stand in faith and see miracles all the time. Amen.